Hey guys, I am so happy to be doing today's video for many reasons. One, we're gonna be talking all about Chantecaille, which as you guys know, is one of my all-time favorite brands. And the reason why we're gonna be talking about Chantecaille is because they have an anniversary sale, which always starts in July on Sylvie Chantecaille, the founder of Chantecaille, on her birthday. Their sale starts July 27th. It's 30% off the entire site, but they gave me an early access code. So on July 25th, today, you can start shopping the sale with my access code. So I just wanna let you know that it's it's not an affiliate code. All of the links that I'm sharing to the Chantecai site, which you'll find down below in my description box, are not affiliate links. I just wanna share this with you because I love their brand so much. I love their team so much. I love what they stand for. I love their products. Everything about Chantecai is just high quality. So the other reason I'm excited for this video is that I'm doing it in collaboration with one of my favorite YouTubers here, Teresa of Teresa is Dead. She is like a born and bred New Yorker. So every time I watch one of her videos, I just get so homesick, so, so homesick. And I Marco Polo with her. And every time I polo with her, my New York accent comes out, my New York attitude comes out. I just, uh, she makes me miss New York so much. And I had the pleasure of meeting her the last time I was in New York back in February. That was the last trip I took before our shutdown. Um, but it was so much fun meeting her, meeting her husband, Alex. I just feel like she's one of my like long lost New York City sisters. So anyway, I'll leave a link to her video down below. Definitely check it out. She's gonna have her own uh, you know, recommendations from Shantikai, her own thoughts, obviously, on the products and everything. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. I am going to be applying as much of this to my face as possible. I'll be talking about stuff. This is going to be a long video. Uh, but at the end of this video, what I'm going to do is like highlight maybe like my top five six, seven, eight, you guys know how I roll. Like my top products, maybe if you've never tried Chantecaille before and you really don't know where to start, I'll kind of highlight my absolute favorites because I really don't think there's a dud in the entire line. I really like everything, but I will highlight like my absolute favorites at the end. So let's go ahead and get started with primer. So I'm gonna start with the Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Primer. It comes in a tube like this and it is a very thin consistency, which really surprised me when I first purchased this primer many moons ago. So you have to shake it up. You can hear how liquidy it is. And I think they updated the formula a little bit because this primer used to smell like sunscreen. You guys always commented with what it smelled like for you. And for me, it kind of smelled like pickles. Um, and I didn't mind it and it faded pretty quickly, but a lot of you were very bothered by the scent of it. So I just wanna mention that it doesn't smell like that anymore. And in fact, I think the first ingredient in here now is like rose water. So, so you can still kind of smell the sunscreen a little bit, but it's so much more faint. It really is quite an improvement over the previous version. But I just wanna show you how liquidy this is. So I'm just gonna kind of spread it around in my fingers and then just apply it to the face. So the SPF or the active ingredients in here are chemical sunscreens. They are not physical, so you're not gonna get that white cast. But because this is such a great primer, it really smooths your skin. And so I like to use this, you know, kind of as my SPF. And if I don't feel like putting foundation on, I feel like sometimes this primer has enough smoothing and blurring going on that it just kind of softens any kind of like lines that I may have going on or any kind of like discoloration. I feel like it kind of blurs everything. So it's really nice all on its own. I mean, there's no coverage, obviously. It's not a foundation or anything, but it's really nice on those like no makeup makeup days. If maybe you just want to like spot conceal a little bit, I think this is a great base. So that is their primer. Which so they have a couple of foundations that I've been using for quite some time. The Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer is one. And then they also have this Future Skin Gel Foundation, which is lovely, especially in the hot months because the gel kind of consistency really is very cooling on the skin. Now, this is touted as a tinted moisturizer. I find that this has a little bit more coverage than this, especially once I get it on my skin. I feel like when I swatch, it's kind of hard to tell. I look at both of them and I think, oh, you know, maybe, maybe this one has more coverage, but this thins out maybe because of the gel. I find that this thins out when I apply it, 
more than this. This one has like a much creamier um, kind of consistency to it. So I use shade vanilla for both of these. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually use the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer today. I've been using this one a little bit more in recent past, so I'm gonna go back to the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. And I do like that it has the additional SPF 15 in here. So there's the consistency. You see how it's just kind of very lotion-y. It doesn't run or move at all. And I'm actually gonna use my Chantecaille Foundation and Mask Brush. It's one of those like more flat kind of foundation brushes. And I'm gonna just pick up a little bit. And this just goes on so, so smoothly. I mean, it really is like a moisturizer and the coverage definitely is on the lighter side. And I'm putting just the lightest layer of this tinted moisturizer down because I really want a very natural look today. And I think the Chantecai makeup products really lend themselves to a very kind of like natural makeup look. So there's a nice light layer of the tinted moisturizer down over the primer. It just looks so, so smooth, and I love how healthy my skin looks. I love the radiance that I have. I love like the, the radiance that I have, but it's just a very kind of like healthy, moisturized kind of radiance. I just love it. It just makes my skin look really pretty. <laughs> All right, next we're gonna move on to the Chantecaille Le Camouflage Stilo Pen. This is their anti-fatigue corrector pen, and I have it in the shade number two. This is one of those corrector pens that has like the little brush, you know, with the clicky, the clickiness at the bottom. So I'm just gonna click it a couple times. And this is a lovely concealer. It's almost like, it's almost like one of those like brightening pens, but it has such a creamy texture that it definitely doesn't feel too thick or drying under the under eyes. It is crease proof, so you don't have to worry about that. It never kind of sinks into my fine lines. And it just does this wonderful job for the under eye. Isn't that great? It's like completely undetectable. It really is. It's so smooth and invisible. I just love it. And it's one of those amazing products I feel like I can use like on my face to like spot conceal as well. Wow. So many spots. It's like once you get started. <laughs> I'm just going back to that foundation brush to blend in this concealer on my face. And I just use my finger under my eyes. It works really, really well with a brush or with a finger. All right, next powders. I have a lot of powders to talk about. I have their loose powder, which is talc free and it's absolutely amazing. I think I may actually use this to set my face. Um, and then I have a bunch of their pressed powders. This is the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. This is an amazing blurring powder. It is absolutely gorgeous. I've been using this an awful lot lately, so I'm just gonna put that aside. <laughs> but that is a wonderful product. Um, it is also limited edition. It was part of their Hummingbird like spring collection. Um, and then this powder is actually part of their regular line. This is their HD Perfecting Powder, and it is so, so silky, soft feeling. It is so finely milled. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love using this to set my face as well because it doesn't have any sheen or anything. It's just a great straightforward powder, no gimmicks or anything, you know what I mean? Like it just sets your makeup. It's gorgeous. This powder is, um, their, it's just called face powder, but this was part of their holiday edition with this like gold foil, gorgeous packaging. This powder, I think it's like a gel powder, so it feels really soft and velvety in the pan. There is this like really smooth, very, very light satin kind of finish to this powder. It's gorgeous and it just feels awesome like to apply. I, I can't explain it because it's such an interesting formula, but it like feels great to put on. It looks really, really beautiful. And when you buff it in, Oh my God, it's stunning. So this is their limited edition face powder from their holiday line. But I'm gonna talk about their loose powder because I don't think anyone talks about the Chantecaille loose powder, but it is talc free and it is really, really a wonderful loose powder. It's one of those, like I like to say, straight up setting powders. It doesn't have any like micro glitters in there. It doesn't have this like very prominent kind of like satin sheen to it. It doesn't double as a highlighter. It's just a great, great setting powder. I'm actually going to use my new Chikahoto powder brush, which is like my new favorite <laughs> powder brush. And I'm going to start with the eye area. 
And this powder is another one. It's just so fine and silky and it just glides onto your skin. And I never feel like I have to be super careful with this powder. There are some powders where I feel like I have to go in with like a really light hand. Otherwise, you know, it just looks really cakey or it just looks really dry too quickly. Or there are other powders where I feel like I have to go in a lot. This powder I feel like is kind of like a no thought powder and it just never like looks bad. <laughs> just always goes on right. All right, so I just powdered this side of my face and this is not. So you can see it took the shine down a little bit but it doesn't make my skin look dry or flat or too matte. And it definitely has set my makeup. You know, I don't feel any tackiness at all. Okay, bronzers. <laughs> I've got a lot of bronzers. All right, I'm gonna talk about the ones that are part of their permanent line just really quickly. So there is a counterpart to that HD perfecting powder. This is actually in the shade bronze. And so this is like an HD powder. So it's really, really silky, silky smooth and soft. It's gorgeous. And this, I wanna say, is probably the lightest bronze that I have from Chantecaille. I love using this in like the winter months when I'm really at my palest. This comes in and just warms me up and it doesn't have like any of that orange kind of undertone. So it doesn't look too weird in the winter, you know what I mean? It just has a teensy bit of warmth. So this is a lovely option. And then they do have their compact Soleil bronzers. So I have Capri and St. Bart's. So here, let me open up both of these. So this one is Capri and this one is St. Bart's. They both have like this beautiful satin finish. And then the Capri is a little bit more peach do you see that? And then the St. Bart's is like a little bit more neutral. These are, again, absolutely stunning. I actually like using Capri as a blush because it does have that beautiful peachiness in there. And I use St. Bart's as a blush too, but I do like using St. Bart's as a bronzer. And like all Chantecaille powders, these are so silky, silky smooth and finely milled. So there is St. Bart's and there is Capri. Isn't that just gorgeous oh my god i just love it as a blush if you're looking for like a natural kind of like slightly peachy blush this is perfect absolutely perfect and then they came out with these limited edition real bronze bronzers last summer and it, they still are some of my favorites so this one is serena which is a little bit uh, lighter and a little bit warmer than their other shade. Their other shade is goa which is one of my all-time favorite bronzers. It's just a little bit deeper than Serena, but it's a little bit more neutral. So there is Serena and there is Goa. And you can see how much peachier their compact soleils are versus their bronzers. So I think these uh, bronzers are still available on their site, which makes me so happy because like I said, I just, I love this Goa. This is in like their baked formula. So it definitely is a little bit harder to pick up with um, a soft brush. So I definitely like using uh, like fluffy, dense kind of natural haired brushes. And then the other bronzers I talked about, those are all like pressed powders. And so those are definitely an option if you have like softer, kind of more synthetic haired kind of brushes. But I'm going to go ahead and use Goa because I love it so much. I'm going to use my Sonia G Sculpt One brush, which is perfect for these formulas. I mean, just picks it up so easily. And I think I talked Teresa into getting this bronzer during the sale. <laughs> she was like, which one? There's so many beautiful ones. I'm like, well, you can't go wrong with any of them, but this one happens to be my favorite. And I kind of explained to her why. She was like, okay, I'm gonna get that one. <laughs> okay, now blushes. So um, they have gorgeous pressed powder blushes that are so, natural looking they always go on like airbrushed they have like the most beautiful like subtle shades they actually just recently sent me this elephant one smitten and all of their blushes come in these beautiful like refillable compacts i mean just gorgeous and so they have all of these animals stamped on all of the different shades so this one is smitten and the elephant is oversprayed so that metallic sheen that you see over the elephant, you won't have throughout the entire like life of this blush, but I'm just gonna try and swatch 
right at the top there. It's so hard to swatch blush. <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to see this, but there is Smitten. Okay, so I have three other ones. So here is Grace, which is, I don't know if you can still see, there was a turtle on there. Here is Emotion, which has the B on it. And I've been really, really hesitant to use this because I don't want to lose the overspray on the B, but I'm going to have to. And then here is Joy, which has a horse on it. Let me, so there's the horse imprint. So Joy is the pinkiest out of the ones that I have. Emotion and Grace, I think are, they're definitely peachy leaning, but they're kind of like uh, the most neutral and the lightest. And then Smitten, the elephant, is a brighter kind of peach compared to Emotion and Grace. So like I said, that there's just these like very subtle differences uh, between all of the blushes, but Oof, they're all so, so beautiful. And they also make some of my absolute favorite cream blushes. So these are a cheek gel -A. It's like a gel cream. Actually, how did they describe it? A hydrating gel cream blush that can be used on cheeks and eyes. So I have two shades. I have Happy and Vibrant. So Happy is a little bit more peach and Vibrant has a little bit more red in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of the Happy cream blush. So there is a swatch of Happy. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap some of this right onto my cheek here. Look at that glow. Look at that beautiful flush. So there is the cheek gelée and happy on the cheeks. I just love it. <laughs> I just love it. Of course, you can go ahead and add uh, one of these powder blushes on top. I'm pretty happy with where this is, but I do wanna just show you guys what this looks like. So I'm gonna grab my Sonia G Cheek Pro Brush and I'm going into Smitten, the elephant one, and I'm trying to just get right at the top edge so I don't pick up too much of the overspray. And I'm just gonna brush that right over the cheek gelée. Isn't that so pretty? I feel like whenever I use Chantecaille blushes, whether it's the cheek gelée alone, the powder alone combined, I always feel like I end up with like doll cheeks. You know, like those porcelain dolls? <laughs> I feel like I end up with their cheeks like that kind of look it's just so so pretty so those are the cheek products that i have from uh, shantakai of course i've been loving loving their um duos that they came out with this summer and the blushes in here are gorgeous as well and i've already talked about these a ton so i just wanted to show you their regular line blushes the cheek shades and the cheek gelées and the only highlighter i believe that's part of their regular line um, is basically like a highlighter version of these cheek gelées. I also forgot to mention the Radiance gel bronzers. I got really excited by all the powder bronzers that I had, um, but they do also have this gel bronzer, which is really, really lovely. It's definitely on the warm side, but it has like a lovely texture, just like uh, these cheek gelées. So anyway, just wanted to mention that. But for highlights, I don't actually have um, the highlight in the tube. And one of my favorite, favorite highlights that they did was a limited edition and it came out, I think two holidays ago, but it's absolutely gorgeous and I, it's still on their site. I was like, oh my God, yes. If you haven't gotten this, you need to pick this up. This is the Les Paillettes highlight. So you have a warmer tone highlight and a cooler tone highlight. And this is that baked formula, which is, oh, it's so beautiful on the skin because it gives you this veil and then you can build it up if you want something stronger. But you get such a pretty veil-like application when you use these baked products. So anyway, I love this because you can mix the two and you have the option of both. And I mean, it's just stunning, absolutely gorgeous. So I am actually gonna use the light pink one and maybe throw a little bit of the gold on top, but I'm gonna start with the pink uh, cooler one down here. And I've got my Sonia G Sculpt 2 brush and I'm just going to pat it down and then work it in. Isn't that so pretty? Do you see that like light pink reflection there? It's so pretty. I highly, highly recommend this highlighter. It's absolutely stunning. Actually, let me swatch the two sides so you can see the tone difference. But there's the gold and there's the pink. And look at that shine. Oh, so good. All right, let's move on to eyebrows. And I actually just 
started using Chantecaille brows. In fact, you probably saw it in yesterday's video with my trying new makeup. They sent over their eyebrow pencil and their full brow uh, like gel tint. And I really enjoyed both, but I was very curious. I remember putting it on uh, during that video. I was very curious how the brow gel tint would work on its own, like kind of without the help of the pencil, because if this is great on its own, then <laughs> that I'm just going to use this if I don't need the pencil. So anyway, we're going to go in with the Chantecaille Full Brow Perfecting Gel and Tint. And there's several things I like about this. So this one is the color dark. I love the little spoolie, which is great. Pretty standard for brow gels. But what I like about the formula is that it's not too uh, loose and wet, and it's also not too like thick and dry. It really is kind of like right down the middle. And I really like that. I've had very, very bad luck with brow gels that are too like loose. It just ends up looking awful. Like it, it just looks bad. <laughs> it just looks really, really bad. Ends up looking like shoe polish on my um, eyebrows. And the other thing I really love about this brow gel is that it sets down and it's, you know, it makes your brows like behave for sure. There is like a little bit of like staying power, but they're not crunchy. I don't feel like I have shellacked brows or anything. It keeps them pliable, which I really like. So it's more of like a brow pomade almost than a brow gel. But yeah, it has like just like the right amount of hold. I think this is pretty good on its own. Kind of filled in the patchiness that I have in my brows. Yeah, I think this is pretty good on its own. I do think it looked a little bit better with like a pencil underneath, but I'm not that picky about brows. So <laughs> I think this brow really works nicely on its own. So yay, another, not surprise, another win from Chantecaille. So that's the full brow perfecting gel and tint. Um, let's move on to eyeshadows. I love, as you guys know, I love their like Chrome Lux eye duos and they just recently like retooled the packaging so that the clasp works, the clasp wasn't working. They have six versions of this duo. I'm just gonna talk about my two favorite. Uh, the first one being Tibet, no surprise there. <laughs> Just a lot of lovely neutrals for me to play with. So that one is Tibet. Let me do a swatch of these. And I love, love these eyeshadows because they're almost like highlighters for your lid. Look at that. <laughs> Just, I could stare at these swatches all day. So that is Tibet. And then the other one I love is Monte Carlo. So this peach shade is a little less shimmery than most of the other like Chrome Lux duos. It's a little bit more subtle, which is kind of nice. You get like a nice kind of contrast between the two shades. So let me swatch these two. Okay, so there's Monte Carlo and there's Tibet. So there's the peach shade in Monte Carlo. Do you see what I mean? I mean, it's still very, very beautiful. It still has a really high shine to it, but not quite as metallic as the others, but it's gorgeous gorgeous nonetheless. So what do I use today? I think I've been using the Monte Carlo a lot lately, so I think I'm gonna go back to Tibet, which is like my original favorite. But before we apply that, I do just wanna talk about their mermaid eye colors, which are their potted shades. So I have a few of them. So they have like their, their regular mermaid eye colors, which have a lot of like uh, metallic kind of like sparkle to them. And then they have uh, I think three shades of a matte. So I have one of the mattes, I have Olivia, and I actually had a really lovely Zoom call with Chantecaille, and they suggested using one of their matte shades underneath these Le Chrome Lux Eye Duos that it makes for a really nice base, and I had just never thought of that. So I'm gonna use this today as a base, but I just wanted to swatch this for you. So it's a really nice, so it's a really nice, very kind of like cool toned grayish taupe. So that's Olivia. And then I do have three of their like regular mermaid eye colors, which again, have like a little bit more sheen to them. So this one is seashell. So there is seashell. Here is copper. There is copper. And here is starfish. Look at that like little purpley shift in there. It's so pretty. So there is starfish. All right, so I'm gonna take Olivia, which is the matte mermaid eye color, and I've got my Sonia G Builder 2 brush product and lay this down like they suggested as kind of like a base. It's kind of like a cement color. I really love it. I want like a cashmere sweater in this color. 
Right? Isn't that beautiful? And these just apply so smoothly. Really have such a nice texture. They are, I think, easier to work with than like the Tom Ford Charlotte Tilbury ones, which are really moussey, and I always feel like I have to be careful with how much I pick up. I mean, those are those are gorgeous, no doubt. But I like how these are like a denser formula. So I just find them, you know, just easier to work with. I'm gonna take my Esam W23 brush, and I'm gonna go into the lighter shade in this Tibet Duo. And sweep this all over the lid. Oh my God. God, I wish I was going out to dinner today. <laughs> wow, I mean, these are pretty alone, but yeah, on top of that matte mermaid eye color, they just really pop. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to flip this brush over and go into the deeper shade, and I'm just going to add this to the outer corner. And I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and just kind of run it over everything and blend it out. Look how beautifully these shadows blend. Oh God, so beautiful. So there's the Tibet duo over the Olivia matte mermaid eye color, which I think is a perfect pairing. That Olivia shade is kind of like in between these two in terms of like tone. Okay, and as for eyeliner, if you guys have been with me for a while, you uh, will probably remember me kind of going on and on about these Le Pearl liquid eyeliners from Chantecaille. They are, <laughs> they're just so, so gorgeous. I think, I thought they were limited edition, but again, I see it available on their site, so I'm really, really excited, but they have such beautiful, like deep, rich colors that Oh my God, they're, they're just, they're so gorgeous. And I find that the formula is just really easy to put on, as you guys know. <laughs> I am no liquid eyeliner pro, and I never had a problem with these. And I remember, you know, a lot of questions that I got when I first started talking about these was, because they're kind of metallic, people always wondered if like, they kind of started to flake or the metallic bits kind of like got in my eyes or anything like that. That never ever happened. So there's four shades in this uh, liquid eyeliner. I have three out of the four. So I have the vert, which is the green. I have violet, which is like the deep purple, which I love. And I have argent, which is like a warm kind of silver. So let me go ahead and swatch these. And I really, really hope my lighting catches the metallic sheen to these because they really are just stunning. All right, so there's Argent, Vert, and Violet. Do you see how complex that Violet is? There's like a little bit of black sootiness in there, but then there's like this metallic shift to like a cool gold. Oh my God, it's so cool. And then look how beautiful Argent is. They're all gorgeous. All right, I think I was gonna go ahead and put Argent on, but I think it would kind of get lost with everything that's going on with my eyes. So I think I'm gonna go with Violette. I feel like I'm always making an excuse to use Violette. So the style of these, it's sort of that like inkwell pen kind of style. And then there's a brush tip applicator. So you definitely have to shake them up. I mean, you guys have seen me struggle with liquid eyeliner and that was so easy. I don't know if it's like this teeny tiny brush tip or the formula or the combination of the both. I really don't know what it is, but it's so, so easy for me to use these. Super duper easy. And then I also have their Luster Glide Silk Infused Eyeliner. Admittedly, I just haven't used this that much. I got it in the color Violet Damask, which is, again, a very dark purple. I definitely don't use like dark purple pencil eyeliners that often, but it would actually be a really great match for this. So I'm just gonna tight line with this, just so everything looks filled in. This is a really creamy formula. I do remember that. It applies like so easily and smoothly, like there's no dragging at all. And then they also have this brightening eye cajol, which I started to use in my waterline, and it really does 
I mean, I'm, I'm stating the obvious, but it really does like brighten up your eyes. That's kind of the point of doing this. I've just never really been in the habit to do this. And I never really felt like I had quite the right color. I felt like I had all these pencils that were either too white or too peachy. And so they were just really kind of obvious, but this is like a nice, a really nice like tone right in between the two. I really feel like it takes some getting used to. I feel like when I look at my eyes, it's like all I can see. But I feel like if you don't point it out, sometimes people don't even notice. You just look like a little brighter. But anyway, I really like this uh, pencil. The tone is just, just perfect. Next up, mascara. Now this is a wonderful mascara and I purchased this, I think when Nordstrom was like having one of those mascara deals where you buy two and you get one for free. And I'm like a real stickler when it comes to mascara. I really don't like having a whole bunch open. So I've been like saving this. <laughs> I don't know for what, but I've been saving this for like a special occasion. And I think today is that day. So I am gonna bust this open. I've been like waiting, <laughs> waiting to use this mascara. I had this mascara once before and I really, really loved it. Oh, I should tell you what it is. It's their Faux Seals Longest Lash Mascara. So they have a Faux Seals mascara and then this is the Longest Lash one, which is actually supposed to help your lashes grow. There's like peptides in here that are supposed to help like the health of your eyelashes. And I do remember when I used this the first time, my eyelashes definitely looked like fuller. They looked really, really nice for sure. And so I'm really excited to uh, bust this open. So I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and then we'll go ahead and apply this mascara. I'm so excited to be opening this one up. So it's just got a very traditional wand. I just love what it does to my lashes too. It's not clumpy at all. And it just makes them like look really, really like the best versions of themselves, my sorry little lashes but it separates and lengthens, which I really happen to like. I feel like my lashes just look kind of like fluffy, <laughs> which I love. And this formula, just like their brow gel, it's not too wet, it's not too dry. I just really don't like an extra wet mascara for the same reasons. I just feel like I'm just, you know, it's just too messy. I just make too much of a mess. All right, mascara is applied. Isn't that pretty? All right, as for lips, I love all of their lip products, but I'm gonna point out two that are my favorites. I love the Lip Veils. Um, they have a Lip Chic formula, which is, it's very, very similar. I just find the Lip Veil to be just a little bit more moisturizing. It's probably not quite as pigmented as the Lip Chic's, but it's a little bit more moisturizing, which I happen to like. So that's the Lip Veil, which I'll put on for you in just a second, but I also love their Brilliant Lip Glosses. These are gorgeous, glorious lip glosses. Some of my favorite formulas, some of my favorite colors. I just pulled out a few. I have a whole bunch in my drawer, but these are some of my favorites. This one is Blythe, which is like just a gorgeous kind of like light pink milky color. This one is Modern, which is more of like a like neutral kind of peachy toned. And then this one, I'm not sure. I think this one is Happy, which is just a gorgeous pink. So I am going to apply a lip veil and a lip gloss for you. So two of my favorite lip veil colors, if you're wondering, is Frangipani. And this was part of their collection that came out last year, I think, with these bronzers. I'm not sure if these are available, but I love this shade. And then Tambodi is my favorite like nude shade from them. I do also wanna mention that their Summer 2020 lips, the like tinted lip balm, basically, those are gorgeous too. They come in like a skinny tube. I've talked about those a lot. Those appear to my favorites as well. So I just wanted to mention these lip veils because this is part of their regular line. You can get these at any time. They're so comfortable. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and put it on. So this is Tambodi in the lip veil formula. Just such a great nude. So, so comfortable. It feels like you put a lip mask on. Oh my God, so incredible. And then I definitely don't need a lip gloss, but I'm definitely gonna put one on. I guess I'll put on Modern. I feel like that one probably goes the best. And these lip glosses have that little brush type applicator, which I happen to enjoy. And there's no like fragrance or scent to any of these products, which is so pleasant to me. All right, so that is my full face of Chantecai that is talking about as many products <laughs> as I could talk about. I know I missed a bunch, 
as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking like, oh, I could have mentioned this, I could have mentioned this. But anyway, this video is gonna be long enough. So I just wanna point out maybe like the top, the top picks of Chantecaille, like a starter kit for Chantecaille if you've never kind of like checked out this brand before. So I'm definitely gonna say this combination is great. And a lot of these recommendations I feel like that I'm gonna be talking about or that I'm attracted to right now is because of the time of year that we're in and like the mood I'm in. So both of these have an SPF, this has 45, this has 15, and I just love the way it makes my skin look. Just smooth, healthy, glowing, absolutely love it. So these two for sure. Um, I'm also gonna say one of the Le Chrome Lux Eye Duos. I, I love them. The, the shine that they give, they're just gorgeous. And I love that they're duos. I am not someone to do like a really intense, involved, complicated eye look. I really just wanna look polished and finished. And I feel like with the two shades, you put one on the inner corner, you put one on the outer corner, and you're pretty much done. And I feel like with either shade in any of the duos, you can just use as kind of like a one shadow look. They're just gorgeous. I love them. So definitely that. Oh my God, there's so much to choose from. Okay, definitely a lip veil and a lip gloss. Your lips will thank you. You know what I mean? Like they're, it's just, it's so comfortable and it just feels so good. So yeah. So yeah, definitely this. And then I wanna say a cheek gelée. If you're into cream blushes, these are so, so beautiful. There's like a slight metallic sheen to them. They're just so pretty on the cheek. I hope my camera was able to pick it up before I put the powder blush on. I hope you were able to see like just the beautiful flush that it gave. Um, so those are all of the regular line products that I would pick. And then when it comes to the limited edition stuff, the fact that they're still on the site and I just checked is so exciting to me. So definitely the Goa bronzer. I love it. It's what I have on. It's what I put on. And then the Les Paillettes highlighter duo. Oh my God. So, just so good. So, so beautiful. I love it. I love this. I wish they would come out with a highlighter duo like this. Just part of their permanent line. Chantecaille, if you're watching. <laughs> I would love that. So I'm gonna stop myself there. I'm gonna stop myself there because it's just, it becomes overwhelming. So before I let you go, don't forget to check the description box down below for the sale details, but it does start with my early access code. It starts today. You can start shopping. It opens up to everyone on July 27th. So you get 30% off the entire site. This only happens once a year. And I just love this brand so much. Anyway, if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.